for the past year I have been living out of my pickup truck. My goal was to save some money and travel the world. This is how I did. This is Mikasa. She is 17 years old and is of Japanese as well as American descent. My camper shell is a snug top Highliner model. I will take you to the back so you can have a peek inside the living quarters. Back here is where I sleep. I also spend a lot of time here just contemplating life, writing poetry. Si quieres comprar tu casa y piensas que no puedes, con María y Rafael tú sí puedes. No esperes. My main motivation for moving into the back of my pickup truck was to save some cash. I've always been pretty tight with my money. These last four years I've been saving pretty consistently and I have a nice little nest egg saved up. I don't spend money on a lot of items, for example clothing. The only thing I bought this year was a suit in Vietnam. I also bought a pretty sweet brand new Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt. And throughout the year I got a few different pairs of underwear. I do however spend money on a few different things. The first thing I do spend it on is food and beer to fuel this machine. And the second thing I'll spend money on is to travel. My largest expense this year was on food. I have the appetite of a morbidly obese man. The proportions I eat and the speed at which I eat them at are pretty mind-boggling. I pretty much only eat stuff from the grocery store. I will occasionally find myself walking into a 7-Eleven for a taquito and gummy bear purchase. The only time I really eat out at restaurants is when it's my turn to cook at work. I've had a few disastrous meals at work. I cook some chicken medium rare, which if you didn't know, fun fact for the day, you're not supposed to cook it that way. So for the well-being of my coworkers and me, when it's my turn, I'll just go to the restaurant and buy. The next thing I spend money on is to travel. This year I was able to get three months off work and I went to Scotland, Germany, Guatemala, and Vietnam. I met tons of cool people. I have homies all over the world now. Some really cool experiences. If you're curious how I get so much time off work, it's because we are allowed to trade shifts with each other so we can kind of customize our own schedule. Despite the financial burden of gorging myself with food and wandering around the world, I was able to save a pretty substantial amount this year. This year I set aside $85,000. Of that $85,000, I would say about $15,000 of it was because I wasn't paying for rent, utilities, internet, etc. I also set up an emergency fund. I put $12,000 in it. I don't plan on getting fired at work, but in case things get real, I got my butt covered. The salary I made this year is a lot higher than my base salary, and this is because of the amount of overtime that's going around. Uh, my department is severely understaffed, so that just means there's overtime constantly. And excuse my language, and if there's children watching this, please cover their ears. But I'm an overtime whore, and I swoop up anything I can get. This video would have been a lot cooler if I had caught something, but no such luck. For entertainment purposes, on the way back to my truck, I will attempt to kill any animal I come across with my bare hands. I was going to fly my drone around while I was fishing to add a little cinematic touch to the video. However, when my drone got in the air, it started to act all crazy, started to fly away from me. So I reached out with my hand to grab it. I sliced the crap out of my fingers, but I just wanted to show you this so you can understand some of the sacrifices I make for these videos. Now that I've hit my year of living in my truck, what is my game plan? Well, the California housing market still blows. I do have enough money to put 20% down on most of the houses in the area. However, if I do that, I'm gonna be locked into a 30 year mortgage. I've been told by members of the opposite sex that I have commitment issues. 
whatever that means. But they may be right because to me, the thought of getting locked down for 30 years, paying a house off does not sound appealing. I would rather just keep saving some money, eventually put a buttload down for a down payment, have the thing paid off within a few years. My ultimate goal is to have a house paid off by the time I hit 33. My plan is to remain in the truck until July. In July, I have a quick trip to Spain, and then when I get back, we'll be right in the middle of wildfire season. For those of you who don't know, California tends to burn to the ground every summer, so I will either be at the station or I will be running around the woods with my fire hose. Last summer was actually not that bad because I spent so little time in the pickup truck. So if I could power through the summer months and make it to winter, I will, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do another winter in the truck. It's just way too small. When I lay down in bed, I can sit fully up, which is a really nice luxury. But besides that, there's not much room for activities. Why don't I just go out and purchase a bigger vehicle? Well, I definitely have the financial means to do that. I could go out today and purchase a brand new Sprinter van or an RV, but I'd rather just not pull any more funds away from a potential down payment on a house. One thing I wasn't expecting when I started to make these videos was that I can make money off them. I've been making anywhere between 500 and 1500 bucks a video. So for those of you watching the Cialis commercials before my videos, I do thank you. My plan with that money is to just set it aside. If I'm able to make enough with it, I plan on upgrading my house. For those of you considering living this thrilling lifestyle of living out of your pickup truck, I must warn you that if you do work a nine to five, this might be a little bit difficult my job I only have to sleep in it maybe three four times a week so it's a little bit easier for me but I hope these videos have been helpful provide you some good insight to what my life's like thanks for watching